welcome everyone to Skycraft, a third party mod pack that can be found on the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, if you are looking for the pack code, you can look in the description of this video. And you can also go check out the forum page, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I've been looking for a pack uh, for a while now that is able to suit all my needs, and this one looks pretty amazing so far. Um, let's see. Also, uh, this pack is 1.614, as most of you know, a 1.7, um, let's just say 1.7 in point X, uh, mod pack. Uh, mod pack release on Feed the Beast is coming soon by the Feed the Beast people. Um, and, uh, this one says it will upgrade, uh, the mod pack owner says he will be launching a patch when, uh, 1.7 does, uh, when all the 1.7 Point X mod mods do get updated. He will be um, creating a patch for this mod pack, so I can uh, transfer my world over to 1.7 point something something something. All right, now that I got that out of the way, uh, I've already kind of started a bit. I mean, iron chest here, regular chest, uh, some stuff here and here. Um, this also has the uh, HQM, I think, hardcore questing mode, and I have also done some of these uh, quests. And uh, let me just read this really fast. Welcome to StarCraft. This mod pack has lots of mods you can work with, but also has optional but recommended quests with rewards. There are general quests which learn uh, which learn you handy things, explorer quests which ask you to find specific biomes around the world, and killing quests which ask you to find uh, ask you to kill specific mobs and bosses. The quests are still a work in progress, and there will be a lot more quests such as Nether quests, the End quests, Twilight Quartz quests, Moon quests, and quest line from specific mods and yeah so there will be a lot more added there's not a lot right now but hopefully we will be seeing a lot more soon yeah and then uh, to show you where we're going to be setting up our base we got this lovely volcano out here that's just covered by lava run over here really fast yay volcano actually it looks pretty cool so Kind of overkilled it with lava. We got a slime island up there, and then we got this nice little overhang mountain type of deal for the entrance to the base, which I think looks pretty cool. We just walk in here, and this is—I didn't even have to dig this out. This was already here, and I thought it would just be a perfect little spot to start off with. I think. So our main goal right now is to actually set up uh, thermal expansion stuff in here. Now I did try to uh, record an episode before this and I thought like the episode I recorded before this was really really good how I started everything. Um, in my opinion it's probably one of my best startup videos ever. And then I found out my mic was being a little glitched out and it was making all these fuzzy noises. So I had to go uh, replace my mic. And then uh, yeah here we are. Um, let's see, there's some really like, this part, this part right here, there's like, this part, this biome looks amazing. Uh, I could say something about, else about that biome, it's, doesn't look that great. Just go with that. And there's some awesome cave over here, and yeah, I'll be back in a sec. And we can get started. Actually, nah, actually I'm gonna go mining for a bit. I'll get some more ores, and then we'll be back starting on some demo expansion stuff. See you guys then. Alright, we are back and I kinda just dug a hole straight down. Found a cave down there so uh, yeah that cave has a lot and there's a lot more to mine but I came back up because I needed another pickaxe again. But uh, there is a cave back there like I said before um, and I think I might just use that for like copper and tin because they're kind of there's some ores that's just more likely to be located at the surface and like one more thing is like uh... there's there's a bit too much coal like i found a stack of iron twenty copper four gold ten silver and about ten tin ore right now and like what is that six stacks of cop uh, six stacks of uh... coal that's uh... that ratio to iron is a bit like high <laughs> Um, so yeah, a lot of iron, and, uh, yeah. 
not a lot of iron. I mean, a lot of coal. I, can't, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. So, uh, let's see. So I think I might just go with the industrial stuff furnace, industrial craft furnace. I, I don't know. Let's see, let's look at thermal expansion. I want to do thermal expansion because their pipes are cool. <laughs> and I do want to set up a room with like, um, its own uh, every every room like. Mod rooms, like, so, like, I don't know how to explain this. Uh, let's see. So, like, this room could be, like, for thermal expansion. Another room could be, uh, can be for, uh, IC2. Another room could be, like, for mechanism and so on. Um, just stuff like that. I think that would be, uh, kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, I think I will get started with a bit of IC2 because the generator, I think, it's a bit easier to make. Um, but I don't think I have the materials for all the machines I need. If we look here. Uh, let's see. I'm plating. Okay. Haven't seen an IC2 in a while, so I don't know. Uh, the rest of it. We'll need to go get rubbers, so. Let's, uh, let's make a, uh, tree tap. And I will be back in a sec with rubber. So yeah, Mine Factory Reloaded is installed. So this means there are two types of people that will be playing this mod pack. Uh, there will people that, there will be people like me who uh, use the Mine Factory uh, rubber trees to make IC2 items because they're amazing. Like it's it's so much easier. You just chop down the tree. Every log gives you a piece of rubber. Like, wh why not? Easy. Easy. Really, really easy. Um, versus people uh, who still use the traditional IC2 way, where you get a tree tap and you go get those rubber trees. But why do that when you can just use the mine factory reloaded trees? Like, they're ten times easier. <laughs> just cut them down and you get what you want. But uh, I think I will be two people today and... I only found two Mine Factory Reloaded trees, I think. Oh, there's one right there. They're, they're like everywhere. They're, somewhere, uh, they're much more common than um, the IC2 rubber trees. They're literally scattered everywhere. And look at that. Gives you a piece of log and rubber. A lot of rubber. Yeah. Pretty cool. And I think... Some more over there, but I have 15. Um, I'm gonna try to get 18 here. That's all I really need at the moment. Do you guys see one? Close to me. I don't feel like going across the river because I'm lazy right now. Is there one over there? Nope. 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 Alright, I'm gonna have to go across the river. Should be more over here. Yeah, there's like one right there, it's so obvious to spot them too. The leaves are uh, a bit different. Kind of more compact uh, texture to them. Yep, there's one right here. Three saplings, which is fine. I'll just plant them in front of the base. I don't need any more saplings. And I think... Oh wow, there's like one right there. Wow. I am blind. Oh, I don't have a pick on me. I need all the copper I can get. And tin. I need more tin and copper. Yeah, jeez. I need a lot more tin and I need a lot more copper. I want to finish this. I see two stuff. I don't think I'll have enough to make the generator. We will see, though. Um, we should have enough to make the generator at least, but, uh. We have plenty of iron. Do that, and let's actually just get some iron cooking. Do that. Put a half stack in there. Shit, there's already 16 right here. Alright. Alright, let's get started on this generator. So, I need mean, iron furnace. Let's get some cobblestone here. Get a furnace. Uh, and then we need plating. I think this is how you make a hammer. There you go. Forge hammer. 
I also got these uh, forests along. They're like there's a forest tree right in front of my uh, entrance right here. It's like right there. I just got it. I don't know what to do with it. Might have to go uh, kind of look up some stuff about Darkcraft. I'm not really that knowledgeable about Darkcraft, sadly. So we will have to do some research on that. And I think I also found this uh, dungeon or something to do with Darkcraft. It's like down all the way um, in the mine shaft. It's like down there. It's like really close to it. And it's just like a giant stone brick thing. I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is, please tell me. <laughs> but uh, again, I will be doing a bit more research on Darkcraft. It does seem like a pretty cool mod. Right, so I still need three iron, uh, or three iron plates to be exact. Easy. And then I think we are going to need another furnace. I think we're going to need a lot more furnaces actually, so we'll go ahead and make two. I need a few to get us started here, and guess what? We have more than enough coal. <laughs> Long slot, come on. Okay. Get that build up. Got my rubber. Gonna let that cook. Got 18 copper. Gonna let that cook. I think that is just about good, right? Also need some tin. Actually, I don't think I need copper at the moment. Oh, where did you come from, mister? My sword's almost dead. Okay, I got. I think there is a hole I left over here, yeah. Nope, no to you, sir. No to you. We're going to sleep. Good night. It, it, the, the fuck? It's basically nighttime, or there's mobs, like, there's mobs spawning. It's like, no. No, sir, it's not nighttime. It's, uh, it's daytime right now, and that's why there's mobs spawning. There we go. Okay, bye bye zombies. A wood spawn in that corner. Alright, so we got our rubber. Our iron. I need to make an entrance somewhere. Oh, okay, so uh, I think I'll have to make a wall right here and probably a door right here. Actually, no, it's probably going to be a window right here and then a wall right here and then with a doorway. And then, boom, staircase. I love building. I need to come up with some better ideas, though. The place is pretty cool, so it deserves a cool looking structure. Alright. So, back to what we are doing here. Okay, so tin. Tin. Did I put the tin in? No, because I'm bad at this game. Okay, so. Hopefully, Ted might be enough. Please, 10 be enough for now. Okay, 10 should be enough. Let's do make uh, scissors. A color, whatever you want to call it. So, 3 iron plates, 2 iron. Okay, I'll just use this for now. Make 3 more iron plates. I got a cutter, a tin ingot, and I think I need to hammer it to make the tin into a plate, and then you can cut it into three tin cables. I just got the achievement, energy flow. There we go. Make an insulated cable. Um, we have more tin. Yes, we do. Okay. Make that into tin plates, put it in again to make tin casing. I don't have redstone. I don't have redstone. I'm always missing redstone. Oh yeah, also one of these quests uh, gave me a uh, muddy helmet, so... That's why I look derpy. I don't have redstone. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get redstone for next time. Alright, hopefully I'll have some machine started for you guys by next time and uh, we might get started on the structure we are going to build
But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.